Welcome back, Theme Park Wizard. We have an exciting day today. <laughs> if no, well, actually, it's an exciting day whether you're in Asia or not, because the first Disney Park opened really reopened it was yesterday our time, because Shanghai's uh, the time difference. So really, on uh, the evening of Mother's Day, <laughs> Shanghai had a grand opening uh, ceremony with a live stream. Some of these uh, pictures I got are from the live stream. And uh, various uh, social media sites as well people posting from the sites I'm so happy for them and they're <laughs> so excited and, and a glim uh, it's a nice glimmer of hope for the future of our <laughs> domestic Disney parks as you can see in the first picture here all the characters rare and non rare are welcoming guests into the front courtyard <laughs> of Shanghai Disneyland this, these pictures this first First set of pictures are by Visual China. You can follow them on Instagram and Twitter. You can see a whole host of pictures. And here is the um the they don't have a, a train, but it's just uh, the grand entrance of Shanghai Disneyland. And they are all the characters, the princesses, and even Buzz Lightyear and Woody and Jesse up there greeting guests. There are no character meet and greets like face to face, but this is definitely a nice alternative. It's better than no characters walking around at all. As we come on to the next picture, we have someone donning a mask, following the rules, but with a nice Minnie Mouse and a very, she's dressed as Minnie Mouse, the cool heart um, backpack um, with, again, Minnie Mouse and just Minnie, she is Minnie, with her own little Minnie, wearing a mask and saying hello, taking a picture with Walt and Mickey. How nice with the beautiful Shanghai cast in the background. Shanghai Disneyland is gorgeous. I definitely want to my bucket list is to go visit there one day maybe even same trip go visit Tokyo as you see we're going on here some more decorative cool um face masks here the, this the girl on the left's face mask match her mini ears as well as her <laughs> bag and um shirt that she's wearing that's awesome and on the right we have some to a toy story themed um outfit going on there which is super cool to see everyone in the back is wearing masks and they're all pretty spaced apart I mean each group is spaced apart as well these next photos are from the live stream but these are also on laughingplace.com Cole from laughingplace.com has been on this channel before and I've done uh, on I've been on his um podcast it's awesome definitely go check him out and go read laughingplace.com there are lots of good news stories but you see there are greeting guests here um <laughs> bug me fuck all the employee or cast members are standing six feet apart um even behind they're standing six feet apart here is a child posing with a waltz in a cool fashionable pose with walt mickey and it looks like it's the same mini girl or some other very fashionable design um um, guest is standing in right behind. I must say, I don't know if they dress like this all the time in Shanghai, but I, she, I might want to go to Shanghai just for the cool fashion, cool fashions alone. Um, I definitely have to step up my my Disney game, <laughs> Disney fashion game when I go there. Here's another photo from Laughing Place that come on the live stream of a cast member um, tending to the garden, making sure it looks beautiful. And it's kind of hard to see, but in the background. There's a big and Mickey, a uh, big and Mickey, or is it, I don't know if it's Mickey or Minnie, but a big temporary of Mickey or Minnie. Um, I think it's just the big Mickey ears, but it looks beautiful. Um, be very beautiful park. And again, they're doing a capacity of, it has a capacity of 80,000, but 30% capacity is about 24,000. They're not even letting that, they're going to gradually increase, <laughs> gradually increase that 24,000 people. But yes, that is. I want to end on this picture because it looks so beautiful. There's like a much better shot of that Mickey Topiary with the Shanghai cast in the background. They are very obviously parks very empty. But keep in mind that the first day, the first week <laughs> or so, sold out because you have to make an advance reservation, and they're going to gradually incre increase the capacity while operations ramp up and they get kind of get back to normal here so that'll be very interesting and it looks fantastic i'm super excited for the theme parks to open would you be excited wearing a mask i mean i must say that girl actually is not wearing a mask um the one in front of the mickey 
and I think that guy has his max mask down there, interestingly enough. But would you be wanting to wear a mask and are you okay with all the restrictions? Would you be going to Disney Park with all the restrictions? Let me know in the comments below. And what do you guys think of uh, Shanghai Disney's opening so far? It hasn't seemed chaotic. It seems very nice, relaxed, and um, seems like it's going well. I heard that the longest queue so far was Dumbo at 30 minutes, which is not <laughs> bad at all. Hopefully, I'll get some more photos of the in queue people in queues and like how that looks like as well. And I think I saw a photo of someone uh, like on social media of how like a parade or how like a like some kind of slight entertainment of work. There's these boxes you're supposed to stand in. Um, about the place about six feet apart. So it's very interesting. Let me know what you guys think of the whole situation down below. Subs and as always, subscribe to the channel for more theme park updates. And as always, have a fantastic day. One last thing, Ashley. My, uh, if you want some theme park visit merch, I have masks and shirts all available at the link in the description below. So definitely check out my uh, merchandise shop for all sorts of cool theme park wizard merch. And as always, have a fantastic day.